हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी ओरिकल डेटाबेस मेमोरी आर्किटेक्चर सो मेमोरी आर्किटेक्चर इंक्लूड्स द टू एरियाज ऑफ मेमोरी वन इज द एस जी ए दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ सिस्टम ग्लोबल एरिया नेक्स्ट वन इज अ पी जी ए दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ प्रोग्राम ग्लोबल एरिया सो वट इज एस जी ए सो एस जी ए इज अलोकेटेड वेन द ओरिकल इंस्टेंस स्टार्ट अप सो वेन यू स्टार्ट अप योर ओरिकल इंस्टेंस ऑन दैट टाइम एस जी ए इज अलोकेटेड नेक्स्ट पी जी ए दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ प्रोग्राम ग्लोबल एरिया सो दिस इज अलोकेटेड वेन द सर्वर प्रोसेस इज स्टार्ट अप सो टू कंपोनेंट्स एस जी ए एंड पी जी ए अंडर द मेमोरी आर्किटेक्चर वॉट इज एस जी ए नाउ एस जी ए इज अ रीड एंड राइट मेमोरी एरिया दैट स्टोर द इन्फॉर्मेशन शेयर बाय ऑल डेटा बेस प्रोसेस एंड बाय द यूजर्स ऑफ द डेटा बेस सो इट्स अ शेयरेबल ऑब्जेक्ट वॉट एवर द एक्टिविटी यू आर डूइंग लाइक सिलेक्टिंग इंसर्टिंग अपडेटिंग दैट ऑल दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन स्टोर अंडर दिस एस जी ए अंडर द मेमोरी The एस जी ए इज अलोकेटेड वेन द ओरिकल इंस्टेंस इज स्टार्ट अप बेस्ड ऑन द वैल्यू स्पेसिफाइड इन द इनिशियलाइजेशन पैरामीटर फाइल आई दर एस पी फाइल और द पी फाइल सो वेन एवर यू स्टार्ट योर ओरिकल डेटा बेस इंस्टेंस ऑन दैट टाइम इनिशियल इन द इनिशियलाइजेशन पैरामीटर फाइल यू हैव डिफाइन द वैल्यू फॉर द एस जी ए अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट वैल्यू ओरिकल स्टार्ट द इंस्टेंस एंड अलोकेट द एस जी ए फाइन so this is the explanation of the sga next sga components so sga is a following mandatory memory structures that is the first one is the database buffer cache redo log buffer java pool stream pool share pool so these are the components of sga and the share pools also includes the library cache and data dictionary cache additional optional memory structures in the sga includes the large pool point so these are the components of your sga oracle architecture figure so you can see this is the sga this is the one instance what is the instance instance consist of two things one is a oracle uh, sga and another one is a oracle background processes so under the sga different different components we have that is the share pool this is the large pool this is the database buffer cache this is the redo log buffer this is the java pool and this is the stream pool so these are the different different components of sg next we are going to see what is pga program global area so pga is a non shareable memory region that contains the data and the control information exclusively for the use by an oracle processes so this is the basically exclusively for the users and not shareable object while well, we are talking about the sg as is a totally the sga sga is a totally shareable object while pga is a non shareable memory region a pga is created by oracle database when the oracle process is started one pga exists for each server process and each background processes so if you have a 10 background processes 10 pgas are allocated if you have a 10 users connected to the database 10 server processes are there and 10 pgas are allocated this is not a share part of memory this is not a share part of memory it's a non shareable object so one pga to each process only the collection of individual pga like if you have 10 users 10 pga so if your collection of individual pga is called as a total instance pga this is called as a total instance pga or all instance pga so database initialization parameter set the size of the instance pga not for the individual pga so as a dba in the initialization parameter file you need to define the size of total pga not for the individual pga fine so this is the architecture of your pga so when we are talking about the individual pga so here under the pga you have different different components are there one is a session memory one is a persistent area run time area this area is called as a your private sql area this is the sort area size Say hash area, bitmap merge area. This is called as a SQL work area. And when the multiple PGAs are allocated, so this is called as a one instance PGA. This is called as a one instance PGA. So same thing, one server process, one PGA. One server process, one PGA. One server process, one PGA. So same thing, SQL work area, session memory, private SQL area. So under the private SQL area, you have two things: persistent area and runtime area. 
This is the session memory. Under the SQL work area, we have a short area size, hash area size and the bitmap merge area. So here, you can see the content of the PGA includes the private SQL area. So private SQL area stores the parsed SQL statement. So parsing is done under the private SQL area. So it also storing the bind variables and the runtime memory allocation. So under the dedicated server environment, under the dedicated server environment, the private SQL area is located under the PGA. But if you are your database is configured under the shared server environment, then the private SQL area is located in the SGA. So here the difference is that you need to understand private SQL area, this is the private SQL area, this private SQL area is under the dedicated server environment, this is under the PGA, this comes under the PGA, but if you have a shared server environment, so under the shared server environment, this thing is uh, available in the SGA. Fine. Next one is the session memory. Session memory that holds the session variables and the other in session information. All the session information is available under the session memory. And the SQL work area, so this SQL work area is basically stores for the sorting purposes, hash join, any bitmap, uh, any bitmap merging for that purposes, this is the short area, uh, SQL work area is using. Fine. So in this sessions we have discussed about the what is SGA, components of SGA, what is PGA, PGA architecture and PGA components. In the next sessions we are going to discuss SGA components in detail. Thank you.